Hello sausage, this is Nana Beryl and today we're playing The Sims 2, yes we are and this is the second part of our Juno Bucks video, that's right love now last time we left you she was about to play snooker with this little gay goblin known as James Belch isn't that right Mr James Belch, you little gay goblin you, yes you were so you be careful where you shove that stick love, yes that's right dear now he's thinking about business, yes he is because he wants to go home and make some YouTube videos, yes you do dear What's happening downstairs? Shall we have a look, dear? Yes. Oh, here we go. We've got Brianka Del Delboro, love. Yes, that's right. She likes eating more of us. And she's ordering a drink from this little Cracker Bell. She says, I'd like a martini, love. Shaken, but not stirred. A bit like James Bond, dear. He says, that's fine, love. Here we go. Yes, he wants to get into her panties. He quite likes her. Yes, he says, I want to lift your dress and bow down and sing to Jesus. That's right, love. So she's having a bit of an alcoholic drink, aren't you, love? Yes, you are. Now, don't drink too much, dear. We don't want you climbing up the trees and nailing your knickers to the ceiling, do we, love? No, we don't. Oh, and look, I think he's gone upstairs, hasn't he? Yes, that other little man thing there, that one, yes. Yes, he's gone upstairs. He's the one that didn't get the job at Juno Bucks because he's no good at making coffee. That's right, love. He says, hello, Juno. And she says, what the hell are you doing here, you little cracker bell? I'm still not giving you a job. Oh, and look at her, love. Her dress is the size of a factory, isn't it? Yeah, yes, it is. She looks like a giant factory. Oh, and look, this is Licorice Hack. And she's having her day off work, remember, because she has myocephalus, chicken pox, herpes, malaria. So she's too ill to work, which is why she's got on a jersey, love, to keep herself nice and warm. That's right, dear, so she doesn't get a chill. Now, what have you come here for, love? She says, I have to buy a television and a barrel so I can stream Wednesday. And I say, well, love, what about Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday? And she says, Nana Beryl, stop being silly. You know I'm talking about Wednesday Adams from the Adams family. There's a sequel series coming onto Netflix, I love, so I need a new television. So she's going to buy one of these televisions for her bedroom, yes, so she can stream it on Netflix. And she's chosen this one because it's not too big, yes. It's a Panasonic by the looks of it, love. Yes, Panasonic. Now down here, oh, we have our computer, little computer shop tape with all sorts of different computers. This place is loved by every nerd. Yes, they do. They love it. And this down here, look, we've got the old-fashioned iPod Nanos. I used to have one of those sausages. Yes, I did. I had a pink one with the twirly-whirly button thing on it where you just twirl it around. So Licorice Hack has decided she's going to have a think on it before she makes such a big purchase just to stream something on Netflix, love, yes. So she's going downstairs and she wants to go across the pathway to the supermarket. Yes, she wants to go to the Sinbill Superette, yes, across the way there to buy some costume jewellery, don't you, sausage? And she says, yes, I do, love. So how, how do you know that, Nana Beryl? It's almost like you've got a crystal ball that you've pulled out of your backside because you seem to know everything before it's going to happen. That's right, Sausage, because I'm a bit of a Nana. Now, she's going up the stairs to go and buy some costume jewellery and she'll need to go to the next level, won't you, love? Yes, you will. All right, dear, just turn around the other way and face the staircase and go up another flight of stairs, dear. That's right. Darling, turn around the other way. There we go, love. Look at her going up the stairs in her orange car, do. Yes, there we go. Oh, that's right, love. You're on the right floor now. But there's only one problem. The people who work there were on drugs. And they put all the stands back to front so she can't get them. Yes, she can't get the jewellery, love. That's right. So the moral of the story is don't smoke wacky backy before work, love. That's right, darling. Oh, sausage, let's go downstairs and have a look, shall we, dear? Because you definitely can't get them, can you? No, you can't. Now, what are you doing, you little cracker bell? She's going up the stairs. Where's Juno gone, darling? Oh, there she is. And she says, look at you and the price of fish. And she says, well, you're being a bit of a bitch, aren't you, love? Yes, I don't like that, dear. So she's going downstairs, yes. And she's telling him his fortune. And he's saying, I already know my fortune. And my fortune is that I'm not going to be working at Juno, Bucks, love. That's right because he wasn't employed there. That's right, yeah, you're very true. 
oh, now what are you ordering, love? And she's going to test the skills, the culinary skills, of this young man here who says, hello, my little flower. And she says, stop being so patronising, you sexist little gerbil. And she says, I'd like to order some proper food. So this little cracker barrel is taking her order and giving it to all of these little waiters and chefs. And oh my God, look how many of them there are, love. Could there be a few more waiters and chefs in one room, please? No, I don't think there could actually, love. No. That's because I created a whole lot of restaurant bays, didn't I, dear? Yes, I created two. For one for this restaurant and one for the one next door, love. Yes. So there's a bunch of little cracker barrels here. And, oh, that was a very womanly burp, wasn't it, love? Yes, it was. She's showing her womanliness, darling, yes. And she's eating her SpongeBob SquarePants curry. It doesn't look like SpongeBob SquarePants curry, though, does it, love? But she's enjoying it regardless, isn't she? Yes, she is. And in the background, we can see James Delsh, who's drinking his medium diet coke with artificial sweetener. Aren't you, love? Yes, you are. Oh, now what are you serving him, love? Is he getting a hamburger? What are you doing, Gino? She said, I'm getting up to look at the orange juice in the fridge. So she's having a look at the orange juice, aren't you, love? Yes, and she needs to go to the toilet. Yes, she does. She needs to take a tinkle. So she's going to head across there somewhere to the toilets and you're going in the wrong direction, love. Yes, you are. You should be going to the public toilets, dear. Where are you going? She says, no, I'm going into this office over here. I'm going to steal the toilets for a moment. So she's going to take a tinkle, I think, can't you, love? Yes, you are. You're taking a tinkle. So she's going to drop her non-binary panties and take a bit of a whittle. So we'll leave her alone to do that, I think, and give her some privacy. Yes, we will. And this is the reception area, yes, it is, of Simatronic Arts. Where they make games, love. Yes, they're a bit like electronic arts, just not as good because their coders are a bit crap. What do we have upstairs, love? Oh, look. He says, isn't she from the Hillbilly family? How did you get here, love? You're from a completely different town. You're not supposed to be in Symbol. Wonder how that happened here. Yeah. Ooh. Yes, and so, oh, look, we're crossing over here to McDonald's, are we? Now, where's Catcher gone? Where are you, love? Where's a little cracker barrel? I can't find her, darling. I don't think she's in McDonald's. Where are you, Catcher? Oh, there you are, Sausage. What are you doing? She says, I'm going to McDonald's to steal some plates because I'm a kleptomaniac. So she's decided to steal someone's food. She's going to be an official taste tester for McDonald's, aren't you, love? Yes, you are. So she's going to put her face in the trough and start stuffing it full of food. Aren't you, dear? Yes, you are, love. Look at her. Yes, she's stolen a plate of food and she's eating some hash browns, aren't you, love? And now she's talking to the waitress. She's not the waitress, though, isn't she? What is she? She's a concierge. That's right, darling, and she's showing her to a seat. That's a bit different for McDonald's, isn't it? Being shown to a seat. It's not very normal. You can just take whichever seat you want normally, darling. They've gone a bit posh, have they? Oh, she's even got a menu. Look at that, love. You've got a menu board up there, but she's got a menu. And this little Cracker Barrel so upset that the milkshake machine and the ice cream machine have broken down, love, because that's not like McDonald's at all. No. Now, she's ordering... She's ordering a hamburger combo, that's right, love. A medium hamburger combo, and she wants some fries with no salt. Yes, oh, look, she's already got the cup. That's very good customer service, isn't it, love? And she's having a Pepsi. Yes, she is. She's having a Pepsi. Look at her, love. She's very happy about her Pepsi, isn't she, dear? Yes, Daddy got your... Oh, she's got her hamburger already, look. They've forgotten your fries, love. Yes, I think they've missed the fries. I don't even see a bag there, dear. Where's the bag gone? I don't see a McDonald's bag. That's not good enough. Yes, delicious and nutritious, isn't it, dear? Oh, and look at the look on her face. She looks very excited to be there, doesn't she, dear? Be careful, love, with an expression like that on your face. People might think you're being dropped on your head, darling. Oh, and there goes Princess Thrifty in her little violet dress and looks like she might be leaving. Yes, that's right, yeah. Now look at this upper floor, love, that Nana Beryl built. That upper stairs floor uh, for McDonald's. Now, I'm not trying to encourage you eating at McDonald's because it's known to be a little bit unhealthy, love. And saying that, though, they do have some salads these days. Yes, they do. They do have some healthier food options, which is good. Good on your McDonald's. Um, oh, and look, love, this is the area here where you can walk down the pathway that Nana Beryl built. Yes, I should upload this to Mod The Sims, shouldn't I, love? Yes, to allow you to download it and use it. Oh, yes. 
Now let's have a look at the electronic store. It's night time, isn't it? Yeah, look at it. It's getting dark here. Yes. And look at all the brands they sell. Oh, it looks quite nice at night time, doesn't it? With those street lamps going. And what have we got over here, darling? Oh, we've got someone coming down the stairs at the beauty salon. So we go into the beauty salon? There's someone in there. Look at the windows at the top there. That's very nice, isn't it? The fountain and this is Cinematronic Arts. And you're still there having a bit of a drink, aren't you, dear? What are you doing now? She said, then a beer, I need to take a widow. My God, love, you've got a weak bladder there. Yes, you have. Mm -hmm. Where are you going, sausage? Mm -hmm. They're all over the place. <laughs> oh, there she is. Yes, she said, I need to go to the toilet. Well, go to the toilet over there, love, not inside Cinematronic Arts. I think they've left their door unlocked, dear. Yes, they should be closed now. They should be locked up. All their coders have gone. So she's taking a tinkle, and yes, look, all their coders have disappeared. Oh, what are you doing, love? She's playing The Sims 3 at reception. Darling, they might think you're open for business. They might start asking you questions. And she says, I don't care, Nana Beryl. I'm playing The Sims 3 by Electronic Arts. It's much better than Simatronic Arts, huh? Yes, it is. And she likes it better than The Sims 4, don't you, dear? And she goes, yes, I do, love. So she's busy playing that little cracker bell. She's rather enjoying herself playing The Sims 3. Yes, she's building walls around people in a swimming pool so they can't get out so she can drown them. That's not very nice, love. Yes, and as you can see here, Simatronic Arts. See, look at that, love. Where it says Simatronic Arts. It's like Electronic Arts, just not as good, love. You see, coders didn't go to university. And she's looking out this very strange window. It's very nice, isn't it? It's very stylish, very modern. Look at the wall hanging, love. Isn't it stylish? Yeah, she's looked at that too. She's noticed it. And what are you doing now, love? You're going to the toilet again, love. She's going to the actual public toilets this time. You do have a weak bladder, love. You've been drinking too much Coca-Cola. Yes, you have, dear. This is a little roof here on my toilets that I made for outside. Yes, my little trailer toilets. Look at them there. There's a ladies and gents toilets in there. With a shower. Yes, oh, she's going to the shower. That's what she's doing. I thought you had a weak bladder, dear. thought you were drinking too much caffeine. Caffeine is a natural diuretic, love. It makes you go to the toilet. It makes you pee heaps. Yes, it does. Oh, so we have a look down here and see what, what are you doing now. Is there somebody coming out of the pub? Oh no, there's Katja, she's disappearing again. Oh, she gets around, doesn't she, love? What are you doing now, love? She's sticking her face in the trough. She said, yes, she's going to eat all this food and slop it up. Look at her, yes, she's slopping up the food at Juno Bark's coffee. Oh, and look at her face while she eats, love. She's got a face on her like a koala bear eating a packet of biscuits, don't you, love? Yes, you do. It's not very common to see a koala bear eating biscuits. They sleep in the trees all the time, love. Yes, that's right. Nothing like a drunk koala bear falling out of trees in the middle of the day, dear, in Australia. Oh, so what are you doing now, love? You're having a bit of a... Oh, she's going out. What are you doing, dear? Where are you going? Show me your doings, dear. She goes, Nana Bear, I want to play in the puddles. It's been raining. So she's going to play in the puddles. Yes, that's right. Oh, my God, love. You're going to get your shoes all wet. Am I not waterproofed? You're going to wreck your dress, Katja. What are you doing, love? Oh, darling, don't do that too much. You're going to look like a walking advert for mental health issues, dear. Yes, you will. Oh, my God, please, somebody call the fashion police. Need to, need to get a new dress for you, love. What are you doing now, love? She says, I'm going to visit the disappearing pussy. What are you talking about, Sausage? She says, the witch over here has a disappearing pussy. Then she says, hello, witch. Could I please have a look at your disappearing pussy? She says, certainly. So her pussy disappears. Oh, my God, love. It's like an episode of Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew Mysteries. Yes, that's right. The mystery of a disappearing pussy. That's right, love. And now she wants to buy a computer, but she wants to test it out first. But I haven't put any chairs in here because I forgot because I'm old. That's right, love. I'm not going to give you that kind of cheer, love. We're not, we're not that wealthy. So what do we have here, love? Oh, we have Miss Medical, Miss Adventure. That's right, and he's there in his flash car with the bald head. You remind me of Rue Paul without the drag, love. Yes, you do. Except you're more pale skin, dear. Yes, you look like you haven't seen much sunlight, dear. Oh, is that Kylie Minogue? I think that might be Kylie. What's she doing at Juno Bucks? Yes, she's going to Juno Bucks to grab a nice coffee. Yes. Now, what are you looking at, love? He's looking at the shoe. Yes, he's going to look at the deformed shoe that's meant to be RuPaul's stilettos. But it's nothing like RuPaul's stiletto, is it, love? No. It's like a failed AI experiment. Yes, it is. So where are you going, dear? 
he says, I'm going to get something to drink. So he's going in there to get something to drink. Well, yes. Why are you going in there, love? Is there oh, that's right, there's a set vending machine inside. So he wants to get something to drink. But he's decided instead he's going upstairs to get a makeover. Yes, he wants to look glamorous. That's right, dear. So he's going up the second flight of stairs, past the dressing rooms there with a with a little clothing store side of it. And now we're in the salon upstairs, that's right, darling, and he's having a makeover. Ooh, Sit your seat in there, love. Sit your little tushy washy in the seat, darling. Wow. Oh look at that, it's a barb this chair. Isn't it gorgeous? And this is Andrew, that's right, love. Andrew the hairdresser. And we're going to get Andrew the hairdresser to do you up, love. Yes. Shall we give him a wig, love? We'll give him some blonde hair and some glasses. Yes, he's already got the glasses, we just need the blonde hair. Maybe not, maybe we'll give him some makeup. What about some lipstick? Oh my god, it's like it's Revlon lipstick, isn't it, love? It's gorgeous. And what about over here? Should we give you some eyeliner or some false eyelashes? Oh, look at that, dear. Maybe we should give you some full face paint. Oh my god, you're amazing. Oh, you look stunning. I do like that, darling. It really suits your skin. And what about this over here? Maybe we'll turn that one off. Yes, we'll try something else. What about... Oh, what should we do? Oh, I do like that, love. Oh, I like that even better. I think we'll stick with that, dear. Yes, we will. That looks amazing. You look stunning. Yes, you do. You look incredible, dear. It's a whole new look. Yes, it's a fashion statement. What we do with your hair, dear? I think we should give you a turban. Oh my god, how culturally inappropriate. Let's do that, love. Yes, it looks amazing. You look amazing, love. You look stunning. Yes, you do. Let's turn around that chair and have a look, darling. Andrew, let's show us what he looks like. Oh my god, he's incredible. Yes, it's a whole new look, love. You're a fashion statement on legs, yes you are. And he's very happy with that, you see. Look at him. He's got a whole new found confidence, yes he has. And he's galloping down the stairs to show everyone his new look. Yes, look at him. Oh, look, he's standing there so he can have a bit of a perv. Even the guy at the counter have a look going, oh, you look incredible. He goes, I know, thank you. And he's walking past all the hair care products on the wall. Yes, he is. Let's have a look at your face, love. Let's have a look at you. Oh my god, love, you look like a drunk bumblebee. Yes, you do. He's got a face like a drunk bumblebee, doesn't he, love? Yes, he does. So he's going to go shopping just so he can show off his makeup. Yes, his makeup and his amazing looking turban. Yes, that's right, love. Oh, now he's going to buy something from the soda machine. He's going to buy some root beer up and get a little bit drunk. Yes, you are. So he can look in the mirror and giggle. That's right, dear. Yeah. He likes looking in the mirror and giggling. Yes, he does. Oh, yes. And now he's looking at other things to purchase. Yes, I've got some breakfast cereal in there and some up and go from sanitarium. And what are all these chefs and waiters doing in the supermarket? What are they doing, love? Stop harassing the man in the turban, darling. What are you doing? Why are you up there, dear? Oh my god, look at them, they're everywhere, they're all over the place, it's like a three-ring circus. Isn't it, dear? Where are you going now, sausage? He's leaving, yes. He wants to go and get a coffee, I think, don't you? Instead. But he can't leave because they won't get out of his way. Yes, that's right, love, they won't get out of his way, they're too busy looking at him. They think, oh my god, you look amazing. He goes, thank you, darling. Yes, so he's going to go to Juno Bucks, are you, love? Yes, he is. Oh, he's going to Juno Bucks, eh? He goes, no, Nana Beryl, I'm going next door to McDonald's. I just want to see what the kitchen looks like because I'm inquisitive. Yes, so he's going to order some food. He's going to order a hamburger. Yes, he wants a Big Mac with cheese. Yes, that's right. But it doesn't look like the photograph of the Big Macs that you see in advertising, does it, love? No, it's much smaller. Look at that, dear. Oh, and there's, there's Donald Grump, Ronald Grump, I mean, behind you, love, yes, and he's on a break from his court hearing, yes, he is, where he's been dealing with the plaintiff, Miss Big Boobs, that's right, love. So what are you going to do now, love? Oh, we're going to go outside, he wants me to take a photograph of him with Ronald McDonald, but I'm sorry, love, my film camera's run out of celluloid film, darling, and I'm old-fashioned, so I don't have a digital camera, sorry, dear. So we're going to zoom out and have a look at this little village that I've created. Isn't it nice? Yeah, yes it is. I think it's very nice. Oh, and what are you doing, Dixie? And she says, I want to go. I have a business meeting, so I want to go over to Cinematronic Arts. Do you have a business meeting, love? And she says, yes, darling. I've got a special sales pitch for a new video game title that I want to create. So she's going inside to a meeting, yes she is, with the CEO of Simatronic Arts, yes, to give them a game pitch idea. 
So up the stairs you go, up to the, is it the second floor? No, the second floor's where the coders are, aren't they? Yes, and they're not there today, because it's the weekend, is it, love? I think it is, yes. And so she's gone upstairs to have a special private meeting with the CEO, and she's just showing them on the screen what she's going to create, just an idea, it's a special display. Yes, it was like a PowerPoint presentation, darling. But the CEO isn't very impressed, love, yes. She thinks... Yes, she's a bit sour, love. It's like she's been sucking all that alcohol out of the hand sanitizer, isn't it, dear? Yes, and she's upset, Dixie, which is why her arms are bent right through her body. Look, love, that's really good coding, isn't it, love? Yes, it is. Well, look at her arms have gone right through her dress. She's magical, isn't she? She should be on Britain's Got Talent. Yes, she should. Oh, love, she's very upset. But this woman over here, Miss Melbourne Mellons, yes, she's going to... She's going to console her out there, love. Yes, why are you just going to make fun of her, dear? Either way, yes, I think we should have a look at the other features of the room, dear. Yes, I do. Oh, she's not very impressed, is she? No, she's very not impressed at all, love. She doesn't like the idea of that video game whatsoever. So she's got another pitch. She says, what about a prostitute drag queen that paints her face with Crayola crayons? She says, I don't like that idea either, love. It's a bit crap. So she's very upset, and I've left, yes. So she's going to have a look at the wall behind here, this fashion wall. Yes, she looks like a fashion diva, love, and she wants me to take a photograph of her behind this glass window. But I won't do it, so she's going to sit down over here and have a bit of a cry. Yes, she has. And over here, we're going to turn the light on to show you how futuristic the building looks. Yes, we are. Look at that, love. Oh, my God, it's like a spaceship, isn't it? It is. It's like the spaceships from Star Wars. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, look at it. Do you like the building, dear? Do you like my little building skills? Oh, and she's leaving because she's not very impressed. No, she's not. This is where they code, love. Look at it. Isn't it a nice environment? There's a few coders here at Simatronic Arts, but they're not there today. Oh, and there's Brianka, is it? Oh, and what are you doing, Dixie? Where are you going? Are you going to get a makeover? I don't know what she's up to. Oh, they're having a fight, love. Oh, my God. He looks like he's been sitting on some lemons. Be careful, dear. Don't fight with the drag queens. You know, some of them are very good fighters, love. She might take to your wife once with a blowtorch. Yes, that's right, dear. Oh, but she lost this time. She's not very happy. That's because he's a conservative Republican. Yes, that's right, dear. Don't fight with a conservative Republican, yes. They're a bit extreme, some of them, dear. Yes, they are. And she just found out. So she's going up to the bathroom because she's very unhappy and she wants to have a bit of a cry. Yes, yeah, she does. She's not very happy. He doesn't like her because she's a drag queen, because he's a little bit of a transphobe, even though she's not transgender. It's right, love. She's a drag queen. She's a performer. It's a form of performing arts, isn't it, love? Yes, it is. Oh, and Dixie, you just had a hair wash. She has. She's just been at the backwash basin having her wig washed. That's right, love. Yes, she has. And I've dried it because it's a heat-resistant fibre, isn't it, love? Yes, that's right. Now, she's going home, are you, dear? Are you going shopping or are you going home? Oh, and look at these posters on the wall. Now, I downloaded these from Mod The Sims. They're quite funny, aren't they, love? Look at them. Yes, they're a bit of a laugh. Yes, they're classic little posters, those ones. Good job, whoever made those. Very good, love. Do like those. Oh look, and it's the great crumbling beastie that is Princess Thrifty with her mood changing green lipstick. Yes, and she's going to order some chicken McNuggets, aren't you love? But she's looking at the whole menu thinking, I don't know what to order sausage. But she's going to order something. So she's decided to walk off because she really likes him, the man in the pink shirt, but she doesn't realise he's a little gay ass goblin. Yes, he is. He's not interested in her at all. Yes, he's as bent as a pipe cleaner. That's right, love. Oh, and look at him, love. He's wearing a white face in protest of white colonialism. Yes, he has, love. Yes, because he's a little far left cracker barrel. And look at her, darling. It's Madonna. She's coming to check out Juno Bucks. And she says, you're doing a good job, love. I'll come back another time, but I'm so busy. I'm a bit stressed. I'm on tour. And I've got to rehearse. I haven't sung like a virgin touch for the very first time for a while. I've got to go and rehearse. And also, I need to sing like a prayer. Oh, yes, I do love in Vogue. That's right, Vogue. So she's walking off and she's going away. Thank you, Madonna, for coming in as a special guest. You're amazing. We do love you, Madonna. Yes, we do. And what have we got here, love? Are these little cracker barrel waitresses? Oh, what are they doing? They're running around all over the place. They're like a bunch of queens in a, in a trance, aren't they, dear? And she's ordering a soy chai latte. And they say, sorry, love, we don't do soy chai latte, so we don't. So you'll just have to leave. 
Now, where are you going, Regina, Regina? And she's bringing a taxi cab. Where are you going, love? And she says, well, Nana Beryl, I've got to get back home. I've got to make plans to start up a knitting factory. I'm going to knit wigs and drink wine. That's right, love. Oh, now, what do we have here? Is it licorice hack? Oh, look, she's changed into her glamorous dress. You're looking amazing. And she's going home too, love, I think. Are you going, love? I think she is. Yes, she is, love. And look, Chris Hack says, yes, I am going home, love. I've got to paint the house green and yellow and start eating the furniture. Yes, so she's disappearing too, love. Oh my God, they're all going home and so is Dixie Cartel. Yes, she's going home too. Yes, she's got to call the fashion police on one of her friends who's wearing plastic bags as a dress, love. Yes, it's not very attractive. And what else do we have here, love? Where are you, Juno? Where have you gone? Have you disappeared? Oh, there she is. She's going home too. Oh my God. She's going home back. Yes, she's going back home to Philly to look after her sprocket. Yes, that's right, love. Oh, look, it's Catulators, and she's going home too, I think, aren't you, love? Are you going to call an Uber driver? And she says, no, Nana Beryl, I have a direct access line to God. So she's going to call God after she's spoken to the witch from the Wizard of Oz. Isn't that right, love? But unfortunately... God is busy right now. She's got the answer phone on. She's having a manicure. That's right, love. So instead, she's going to call Aretha Franklin. But she can't call her because she's not with us anymore, love. That's right. So she's called an Uber driver instead. Yes, she has. She's called Martha, the Uber driver. Thanks for picking Catcher up. Martha, have a safe trip home, Catcher, with Martha, the Uber driver. Oh my God, that was amazing, wasn't it, love? So thank you so much for watching, Sausage. And we'll see you again next time when I do another exciting video. Thank you, darling. And thank you to all my subscribers. Bye-bye, dear.